Welcome back. We're going to be talking normal, but we kind of have to not get riled up because Damon's asleep, but he's in the other room. We put the baby down. <coughs> <coughs> I've got eight. Sounded bad. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Well, spoiler alert. The <coughs> guy who lost his memory is actually an angel. Wow, as we start recording, you start hacking up a lung. I'm sorry, I have AIDS. <laughs> AIDS do not make you hack yeah, up this a lung. Guy. It'd be AIDS does not, not AIDS do not. Because if you say AIDS do not, it means you're talking about like like AIDS as in like teacher AIDS or assistance. <laughs> if you're talking about I never AIDS, read AIDS, this AIDS crap. does not. It's usually blah, 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 do this, blah, 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 Daily blah, grammar this lesson. reason, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> take this person with you, blah, 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 blah. I wish, like, they would just start conversations while you're walking by, like, in Skyrim, but they're really, like, heavy-handed. So it's like, even the ancient tomes, and it just starts fading out of, like, earshot. So, like, you're just hearing, like, I saw the scroll burner. Like, you just can't hear them anymore. <laughs> Lose it. Come Not back, close. I wish to get my... I just realized that... No, they do talk. I talk right, but yeah, they don't do the fade out thing. Yeah. Since I made Amanda's chibi, there won't be that, like, black spot there anymore. <laughs> Yay. Yeah, I already fixed, uh... Queen! The first five episodes. Oh, I didn't think you'd go back. Huh? Yeah. Awesome. You gotta look somewhat professional. <laughs> Said the people who have a baby on straight on channel. <laughs> hey, he was cute. <laughs> God damn. Open the gate. The little bastard put to sleep though. He does not <laughs> like nappy time. <coughs> does he usually sleep well for the night? Hey, look, he's gonna Define be out. Define that. <laughs> like, stay asleep. Define. Does he last more than six hours? Does he sleep like all night? And, like, when you're going to sleep to me, wake up. Most of the time, yes. Oh, okay. Cool. He's been doing that since he was about three months. <laughs> I kept trying to jump out of the crib when I was like one year old. Apparently when I was two I learned how to like jump out of mine and go bug my sister and be like, hey, let's go on an adventure. But she was like uh, still too young to do anything. I had those like snap on onesies and my mom had to put them on backwards because I'd always like rip them open. <laughs> take my clothes off, climb out of the crib, and they'd hear this thud on the floor, and they'd come upstairs, and I'd be laying on the floor laughing. <laughs> How old were you guys when you could talk? Uh, fuck, I don't know. Define talk, <laughs> like a full-on sentence? You or could like... say, like, words. Oh, uh, like words? Mm -hmm. About one and a half, something like that. Yeah, probably. That's the usual, but if you're talking sentences, I think it was like somewhere between two and three. You see, that's what weirds me. According to I my dad, I, I was my mom said I was saying words at like nine months old, which makes me think she literally sat there all day speaking to me and did nothing else with her life. <laughs> she probably didn't. Well, some people do that. Some people, I mean, some babies learn. I mean, like I learned to walk when I was. Nine well, your mom months. Said you were like running around everywhere. Yeah. When you were a small child. I went, when I was like nine months. Apparently, I used you to be canned. You gotta get get going if you want to get in that thug life. You gotta get an early start on that shit. <laughs> I really keep the chick. She's he was hard. nine months old, like cruising the ghettos. Yeah, you're that little kid on a tricycle, like with the fucking huge <laughs> aviator shades, and like you got like little hydraulics on it, you're bouncing through, and it's like, hey ladies, how you doing? But you're like five. You got like little subs on the back of your trike. No, man. I'm, in, <laughs> I'm off to destroy the establishment. No, no, no. Instead of pimp my ride, pimp my trike. No, man. I was in East Lake one time and uh, a dude had a uh, like two tins strapped on the back of a bicycle. Oh yeah. Boy. It was bumping. Yeah. It was. It was hilarious. <laughs> the road kept undulating like a freaking shockwave. Now I can say that I bought cigarettes at a shady gas station in the ghetto. <laughs> In the gear too. You either have to move up closer or Sunday morning. I'm the voice that whispers in the shadows. I am the night. I am Batman. I finally got out of the basement, guys. They don't know I'm here. I'm hiding in the back corner of the room. You're just that little hand that reaches out of like the one broken section in the floorboards that's like baby roof and you like drag it back underneath and then you just disappear for months and we forget no, I'm, you exist. I'm the intern that lives in the cellar and like the cellar doors under the bed 
and I like crawl out every once in a while. And you're like, get back in there! You kick me back. In. I just dangle a paycheck over the do- the hole with a fishing rod. No. Oh, you almost had it. We only feed her when she actually gives us our work. <laughs> oh shit! That's I'd why be dead she's been then. starving. <laughs> yeah. She's lucky. Her family's rich. They feed her. We are our forms of a actually no. I really don't don't eat that much. My mom doesn't cook dinner, and even if she does, it's like vegan hippie. You could probably spend a thousand dollars, and they wouldn't bat an eye. I don't have money from them. They don't have to have to have money from them. You could just walk in that house and be like, "Oh, here's a credit card. I'm gonna put this to credit. Six thousand dollars. Your dad don't even blink." I don't have the credit cards or the numbers. You find the goddamn credit card. They keep them locked up in a safe. That's your problem, and you figure that out, and then bring the card to me. <laughs> and then you get thrown in prison. They wouldn't know it was me. No, no, no. My mom loves you, and she thinks you're like a real. No, I told her you're not even really autistic, but she, for some reason, she thinks you're extremely autistic, and she's like, "Oh, you're so sweet and nice." Like, I literally think you could murder one of her children, and she'd be like, "Oh, it's okay. You have autism." <laughs> I'm gonna keep that in mind. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no. Please kill Michael if you're gonna kill one of them. No, because y'all were being douchebags to him. That you know was what? such a fucking morning? dick move. Like, we got there and he's like, hey, can I go with you guys? And you're like, no, fuck you. And I was like, he well, beats what the, the shit out of us. It's your damn problem. He was being nice. He's like, I just want to come hang out with Austin and Dylan. And I was like, all right, sure. No. And you're like, no. He wanted to come beat up Austin because now he's been working out in the basement. I knew exactly oh, I what he wanted to, to do. Try. I knew. Bring, well, bring since Amanda was here with the kid, over. I didn't want her. I don't. I didn't want you to beat Michael up while she was here. Her what? Her fourteen-year-old, thirteen-year-old. He's sixteen-year-old now. <laughs> Fourteen, thirteen. He's a little shit stain. He thinks he's tough. Sixteen-year-old brother thinks he can beat me in a fight. Oh, he's a pencil too. He's like, his whole body is like smaller than my arm. And I don't think he's ever been in a fight. <clears throat> no, he's beat me up before. That's not a this fight. <laughs> he used to lose all the time. Look, that's not a fight. That's a sibling squabble. Yeah. I feel like you would pull a knife on him. Nah. Why? Mm-hmm. You probably flick him and fall pro- over. No, probably because I told her the that time I got in a knife fight. Wow. Not too long ago. When? What? On Skype. When I told you, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, I've been in an eye fight. Well, I mean, I didn't. I just even before you told me that, when you said you were gonna beat Michael, I was like, no, it's probably not a good idea to escalate to a point where somebody pulled a knife. And that's oh hell no, we just fucking knock him out in a hit or two and then put him on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> if he pulled to, out a knife, I would just get get it away from him. He needs to have his fucking ass beat. He needs to be taken down a peg or two. He's full of testosterone. He's treating his friends at school like assholes now. Because that's what I did to the dude who pulled a knife out on me. We were shadow boxing. And for people who don't know what shadow boxing is, it's, ba- it's basically uh, like you, <coughs> you fight <coughs> and swing, but you stomp like right before. Uh, it's basically the, boxing, but without contact. Yeah. yeah. It's like right before the hit connects. It's a way to like kind of. Uh, temper your punch so you can control it. Is that yeah. a flaming eagle? Well, it, no, it's a flaming spirit. Awesome. Looks kind of like Anyways, uh, this dude, like, he wasn't winning. Like, he was not getting a hit on me at all. Hmm. And he got mad, so he pulled out a knife. And I was like, okay, this escalated. Escalated. So, I was like, alright, so I pull out my knife, and I'm, like, avoiding his... And then, uh... And then Otacon keeps popping up on the codec, like, so, like, you have to stop the fight. And he's like, dang, three. So you're sitting there in a huddle. And he's like, oh, not now, Otacon. I'm in the middle of a fight. And everybody's just like, this motherfucker's crazy. You know, so I, know, uh, I got him near a chair. I backed him into a cha- chair with my knife. Because I didn't want to kill the fucker. I just really want... What was it, uh, Jay Leto? It was, uh... I just want to hurt you, you know really, really talking. bad. You know who I'm talking about, too. What was the name? Um... All I'm gonna say is a Sean. Mm. Sean Mendes. No, sure. No, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Anyways, yeah, he little punk ass. Anyways, so like, I was avoiding his knife swipes, and it 
everything. And I was like, all right. So then I started, like, going for stabs to get him close to the chair. Mm. And when he did, I grabbed his wrist, turn, turned it, and then grabbed the knife uh, when he dropped it with my hand. And then I uh, tripped him up with my foot. And then the hand I had the knife in... I uh, turned it sideways and pushed him down into the chair. And Is then, he even still around here? Hell if I know. And yeah, then I, he disappeared. And then I put my knife to his throat and I said, if you fucking move an inch, I'm, I'm going to kill you. And then he just started laughing like he played it off like a joke. Which, and then he pissed himself. Which knowing him, it, he might have been trying to play it off as a joke. He was a very weird individual. True. He was so into it. Yeah, he probably got off on it. He had to leave and clean up. Yeah, and then his girlfriend was like, okay, no, you almost died. Austin almost killed you. Give me your fucking knife. And I was like, I'm not giving you my fucking knife. She was like, no, I meant him. All right. She's like, I can get your knife away from you if I wanted to. It'd be funny to watch. She'd just be like, get, 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 get. and you're just kind of holding it up. I was like, ha. Ah. Put it up on the fridge. It was like always, oh, like I knew, you know, like how to get a knife away from someone. And yeah, putting to, it into practice, it kind of really but, settles it in your head. Yeah, but I've never actually, like, you know, had been, to. Yeah, yeah. Like, I've never actually had to. It's kind of like reading a survival book, but never having to actually survive. Yeah, you know, survive <laughs> yeah. in the wilderness. Yeah, yeah, I know it's a it's a weird experience, but it's always tense too because you like. A, you don't want to get hurt. B, you don't want to hurt the person. <laughs> unless you want to hurt the person, but that's a whole other story. Oh, if somebody's suiting me, the only thing that matters is my well-being at that point. Oh, oh yeah, no, like, when I was doing the stabbing, if I would, like, if I would have stabbed him, then I'll... Oh, fucking be, well. Yeah, I'll fucking well. But my main objective was to get him near that chair so I could get him down. Because I didn't want to take it to the ground because then one of us could have accidentally got stabbed. <laughs> right. Yeah, like you just knock him down and one of those knives just happens to land, like, blade up. Yeah. Drowned temple? So I was like, I'm going to get him near that chair. Be like, oh, I knew stuff and everything, but I never put it in practice until that day. And I was like, huh, I guess I, I can. I still got one more to go. All right. It's not a yeah, right here. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. It's not particularly hard. Yeah. You just kind of have to keep your eyes open. Never something you want to have to do, though. Is that where it is? I actually had fun with it. <sighs> oh, my. It's like, ever since then, every time someone's like, I'm going to pull a knife and stab you, I'm like, please try. <laughs> I was like, go on. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. I'm just sad the thing over at uh, the roller skating place never got as far, got far enough. Like, I didn't want to beat a bunch of children up, but it would have been an entertaining night. Yeah, we would have went to jail that night. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> be a fun story to tell on YouTube, though. Mm -hmm. If we ever got How out. How we got arrested? <laughs> story time, we go to jail, actual arrest. Uh, honestly, if it had gotten bad, it probably would have just been like a sit-in overnight in the county jail. Like granddad or your mom would come and get us and be like, "What the fuck are you dumbasses well, doing?" They were minors, and yeah. honestly, like me remembering three of them right now, it, it they'd have been over in like a bunch or two. Oh, I was, yeah. How old were you, and what's the first thug thing you ever did? Uh, I was twelve, no, I think and I we was stealing, the and I was stealing shit out of cars. What the fuck? What were you stealing? Anything. Just Cigarettes, shit. change, money. Just whatever they left in their car. How'd you get in the cars? Mm, easy. I looked, and if there wasn't a flashing light, I would try the door. And if the door was unlocked, I would open it. <laughs> if the door was locked, I would move on. First you turn the handle, and then you pull. <laughs> my people have been working okay, on the technology for the decades. Because I don't lock my car doors until I'm going for you. Well, you should, because then I'm going to go steal your car. You can't steal my car without my keys, goddammit. You are right here, Almost. and I see your keys. It would not be hard. 
And the sad part is, I actually started that trend around here because. Uh, yeah, I wish you didn't, because some jackass tried to break into my car and ended up breaking his fingers. It pissed me off. <laughs> yeah, no, because uh, Dad would take me to school, mm -hmm. and uh, he would keep his cigarettes in his truck. So I went and get him, yeah. which, you know, I smoked menthol, and he smoked Winston Straits, or, like, Reds or whatever, mm -hmm. or gold. So, uh, we get in his truck, and he goes for his cigarettes, which he quit now. Like, he hasn't smoked in, like, five years. But yeah, he hasn't like, smoked the entire time I've known him. Well, he uh, reached to where, like, his cigarettes were. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we're done. Yeah. So he reached and he's like, did you grab my cigarettes? I was like, no. And then he like searched my pockets. And then, yeah, that's when we found out that someone freaking... Kind of uh, imitated. Just, yeah. Cause yeah, because he, yeah, he didn't lock his truck. <laughs> and then uh, people I won't name, I knew, started doing the same thing. Does it start with an M? Starts with an E. Oh. And M. <laughs> okay, I already know where this is going. <laughs> Fun times. Yeah, no, it was actually not too long ago. Some little blonde shit I'd never seen before tried, like, breaking into my car. But, like, I was outside. I was just around the house. So, like, I could hear it going on. And this, like, kid was sitting there fiddling with my door. And I was like... So, like, I guess he didn't hear me coming up or something. I just walked up there and snapped, like, snapped the door on his fingers. It was kind of funny. You okay, man? I actually think I heard movement. It sounded like a thud. Could have been a cat. It sounded like your foot. No, it was coming from that way. It sounded like a cat, but I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, that's just brownie. She's looking up at me like, what did it do? I hope the audio comes out on this alright. I mean, we've actually talked lower than this, but still. Yeah, it also has to cause a bit of trouble when we gotta, like, low the tempo or pitch or whatever. I can't think right now. Decibels. There we go. Well, we shall see y'all next time. We're gonna upgrade and stuff. I don't know why I started doing that. We're gonna hopefully get more aud audible. And maybe Amanda will talk a little <laughs> bit more next episode. Well, I mean, we did Bye. kind of have, like, a huge damn conversation through that one, so... I know, but she could have jumped in. Well, okay, what was the first yeah. thug thing you did? I mean, how old were you? Really? Yeah. Motherfucker, she's from Saudi. She didn't do anything I've been thug. I've slept since then. Good luck. And had a kid. I couldn't even begin to tell you. Okay, so you just have a shitty memory. We'll, we'll leave it at that. Fuck you. I love you too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>